Welcome back, everyone. A group of moderates in Congress is trying to end the shutdown through compromise. Now, the self-made Problem Solvers Caucus, which includes local Congressman Tom Reed, met with the president earlier this month, and they were unable to agree to a compromise. But correspondent Morgan Wright says that has not stopped them from trying. The partial government shutdown is headed into its second month with no end in sight. We can't let this go on much longer. It's bad for the economy. It's bad for our federal workforce. Congressman uh, Anthony Brindisi of New York says as long as leadership on both sides aren't talking, there's no compromise to be had. Why can't we just work out the details and take care of these employees that are caught in the middle of it, too? New York Congressman Tom Reed. And coming from a family of 12, I can assure you, <laughs> you know, we've had many a family of squabbles, but at the end of the day, we recognize we have to work together in order for the household to stand firm. That's exactly what needs to happen here. But the stalemate over President Trump's $5.7 billion border wall has stood in the way of any progress. There needs to be a compromise, and I think the president put on the table a reasonable offer uh, to move the ball forward. I think we should come forward with some kind of a counter offer, uh, maybe a permanent solution to DACA. As negotiations continue, Congressman Brindisi wants relief for TSA workers hurt by the shutdown. He introduced legislation to start paying them immediately. They would uh, use a portion of the security fee that we pay on our airline tickets uh, to help pay our TSA workers who are keeping us safe at our airports. Uh, this is not a, uh, a long-term solution. It's a Band-Aid. Brindisi says the long-term solution is getting the government up and running. In Washington, Morgan Wright.